Hello, and welcome to New England Escapades. Today we took a trip to the USS Albacore. Here's what we found out on our adventure. The USS Albacore is a decommissioned submarine located in Albacore Park in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, the city where she was built. Since its opening to the public in August of 1986, the Albacore has been providing civilians and military alike a glimpse of what life is like on a submarine. However, there's much more to the Albacore than meets the eye. Commissioned in December of 1953, the USS Albacore was the first submarine designed to operate underwater. Prior submarines were defined as surface vehicles with the capability to submerge, while the Albacore was designed to spend a significant quantity of time below the surface. This was perfect for her experimental nature, as she was outfitted with state-of-the-art systems that were being tested for potential use in future vehicles. In keeping with this theme, her motto was Prinuncius Futuri, or Forerunner of the Future. The hull of the USS Albacore is novel in and of itself. It features a teardrop shape, whereas its predecessors were largely more rectangular in shape. This allowed for greater top speeds, with the ship even reaching a speed record in 1966 at nearly 40 miles per hour underwater. When outfitted with a special high-capacity silver-zinc battery, it could even outrun a modern nuclear submarine. While the USS Albacore contains dozens of bunks, it is actually efficient enough to be completely operated by just three crew members. This was not the norm, however, as there would typically be around 55 crew members on board along with scientists, visitors, and other personnel. Since additional equipment and testing supplies were usually stored in the bow compartment, this would occasionally require the crew to hot bunk or take shifts with bunks, or take an undesirable bunk like the one in the dining room. While we're sure the bunk itself was just fine, you would have a pretty firm wake-up time when the rest of the crew dined on breakfast. And in terms of dining, the submarine cooks are considered some of the best in the Navy. The USS Albacore was no different, and given the size of the kitchen, it makes it all the more impressive. The crew's mess was the hub for downtime. It was where they took meals, worked and studied, and even watched movies. It's not exactly a luxury suite, but for a submarine, it's a great spot to stretch out a little and decompress. And besides, it's certainly more luxurious than the toilet and the shower. Fresh water was actually at a premium on the Albacore. It was used for maintenance, drinking, and washing in that order. To that point, showering was not a daily activity on board. The USS Albacore was decommissioned in 1972 and moved to an inactive ship facility in Philadelphia. It stayed there until 1984, when thanks to the tireless efforts of Portsmouth City Councilman Bill Keefe, she finally came home. Across the span of two years, Keefe filled out a lot of paperwork, attended meetings, and generally dealt with bureaucracy until the Albacore was approved to return home. It took great effort to not only move the submarine, but to engineer a resting place for it. The University of New Hampshire School of Engineering provided assistance with designing the concrete dam upon which the Albacore now rests. The story of moving the ship is detailed and fascinating, and you can learn more by visiting the Albacore or its website. Today, the Albacore is open for all to visit and experience. We've provided an extremely surface-level overview of the history of her, and we can't recommend visiting enough. To experience yourself what only a small percentage of people do for weeks or months on end is poignant. In addition to being able to walk through the Albacore, view through its periscope, and see how its crew lived, there's a visitor center where you can learn even more and even purchase an oral history of the ship. When you've exited, there's a memorial garden on the property as well. It features five memorials dedicated to souls lost at sea on submarines, as well as a sculpture of the dolphin. The dolphin is the insignia of the U.S. Navy Submarine Service, and anyone who is honored to wear it has earned the distinction of qualified in submarines. It's a fitting tribute for this particular garden. While it's a somber end to your visit, it's important to remember the sacrifices that many have made, especially in seeing how the very technology involved has evolved to prevent tragedies in the future. The USS Albacore is located at 569 Submarine Way in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. It's directly off of Route 95 and is a few minutes away from Portsmouth's historic downtown area. It's a fascinating place to spend a couple of hours before hitting downtown Portsmouth to grab some lunch or do some shopping. Thank you for watching and keep on adventuring. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to see more.